So over the year 2023 and 2024, I was trying to become like an indie hacker. I wanted to build my own SaaS product and I actually built out a decent amount of side projects and tried to like, you know, market them on X, make videos about them and try to get some users. But overall, I don't think I've ever found too much success with the indie hacking. And I wanted to make a video to kind of warn others that like, hey, indie hacking is not something that you just can easily do. A lot of people you see online like Levels IO or Mark Liu with his starter kit and they have like tons of money that they're making or just you're scrolling through this indie hacker space and you see these people making like hundreds of thousands of dollars like from their application every year. And then you try to build something yourself. You try to emulate their success and it just never works. Like whatever you build, it seems like you just can't find the success. And that's something I did over the past two years is like I built Project Planner AI, this like project management tool, it has like Kanban uh, flows, it has like event tracking, it has all this cool stuff in it. It's one of those things where like, even if you can build it, it doesn't necessarily mean people will come use it. Another application, this is actually the first indie hacking app I built was this icon generator. This is the application where you can like come in here, you can like generate an icon, and you can like pick from all these different types. And then you'll get like the icon that you can download and use it for your like personal website or something. This wasn't even my idea. I was just scrolling through uh, X and I saw someone post this idea and I'm like, okay, if he can do it, I can go ahead and do it as well. This has been one of my most successful indie hacking projects. Like it has 176,000 users. So this is a lot of emails. I could potentially do like a newsletter and sell ad space. I could just try to sell this application right now. It's making like 300 something dollars a month. But last year it got to like 1,200 revenue every month. And then subtract costs for like the, uh, you know, the image generation, which costs some money. So this has been one of my most successful indie hacking project. But if you zoom out, it just doesn't make enough money to like for me to care about it. Right. Me making a sponsored video on my channel makes so much more than any of these little side projects I worked on. And although I truly want to become like an indie hacker, like I want to be a person who owns a SaaS company and a successful SaaS company. It almost feels like a goal that's just not worth pursuing because you're going to put all this work into building out an application. And unless you are really good at marketing and spend a majority of your time marketing, people are just going to not know about it. And they're also just not going to sign up for it. And I know I should probably be more positive when it comes to like building out these products. But again, I tried like a starter kit. I saw people online making some successful starter kits, making a ton of money. But of course, I went down a different path for revenue. I decided to make like a tutorial video walkthrough. I'm only charging like 25 bucks for it, which has made like a decent amount of money over the past like year or so. But again, it's like every project I create, there's more burden mentally for me to like maintain these things. The code is slowly going out of date. Like I've used Next.js 13 with TRPC with this one. And now I have to come back and like update it because it's becoming so far behind in versions. This is like Next 14. I have to come through and ex update this to Next 15. This is probably using Next 14 as well. The starter kit is just one more thing I have to like maintain and keep updating and then i have my personal websites and then i have like this course platform i'm building i have all these like random sites i also have a game that uh, it's not online right now but like I, I worked on building that game out and i think what happens if you're an indie hacker is one some of the advice that you're going to hear online is like try a bunch of different stuff and get it deployed out there and see if it sticks and see if you start getting customers and if you do then that's when you know you should like focus in on building more functionality to it and marketing it more but you would think that even with my YouTube channel, like I have 250,000 subscribers, that anything I build could generate a bunch of income. But it turns out that that is just not the case. Like even with building educational courses, I know there's people out there who have made like over half a million dollars selling a course for like 150 bucks or 250 bucks. But it seems like whenever I try to do stuff, maybe I just suck at doing stuff and I suck at marketing or just my products aren't good. But whenever I try to emulate the success that I'm seeing on social media. I just can never get it over that, that line of like making it worth doing. Now, if you want to be an indie hacker, I'm not saying like, don't do it because I will be honest, all the different applications I built, I have learned so much along the way and I have generated, you know, a little bit of side income from these, but just keep a realistic mindset that like, these are just side projects for me. I work full time. So I have a full time income coming in. Like I get a paycheck every two weeks. And that paycheck by far is way more than any of these like little side projects that I work on. Additionally, I have a YouTube channel. That is my second side hustle that brings in the most revenue, right? I could do a sponsor video and it makes more from one video than like all these projects revenue combined over the past like two years. And so once in a while, I kind of just like get discouraged and I'm like, uh, this is just not worth doing. 
And then I realized like watching all these other indie hackers, like I don't think they're married. I don't think they have kids. They don't have responsibilities. So they can literally just spend all their time, eight hours a day, like hacking and building and shipping and seeing if it works versus me. I have to work full time to keep my life insurance and my health insurance and all this other stuff and to keep uh, you know, a roof over my head. And so I don't have much time after work to actually work on these side projects. So I can never actually take them to that next level because I think taking them to the next level requires a ton of time marketing, building up a newsletter, promoting it on different social media platforms. And in all honesty, like who has all that time? Like no one has that time. But I think at the very end of last year, like I just reached a breaking point where it's like, I can't keep trying to do all these projects. Like I just can't juggle them all. I can't keep maintaining them. I can see the code is slowly like becoming rotted. I don't have time to maintain all this stuff. So my advice, if you're trying to become an indie hacker and you work full time, you don't really have that much side project time. Honestly, I think the best goal is to pick one thing because that's one of my issues. I could jump around from different projects and try different stuff. And I feel like I have some type of like inability to stay focused at time. I don't know if it's ADHD, undiagnosed ADHD, but my main advice to you is like pick one thing and just keep trying to build it out for like a while. I know there's advice from like big indie hackers like Levels IO who basically tries to say build a new project every month and get it out there and see how it works. But it's very hard and I'd be hesitant to follow advice from Levels because he already has a giant cult following and anything he makes like people are going to load up and try and probably just buy. For example, that flight simulator game, I think he's making over like 40,000 a month from sponsorships and ads. Again, I don't know if this is actually true or if he just makes stuff up. But if it is true, the only reason it is generating that much revenue is because he has that giant following behind him. He's already like a person. He's a figurehead. And you can make a lot of money if you have a well-known name or brand. And so you'll look at these people and be like, oh, I want to be like them. But honestly, you could probably build the same products that they built and get it out there. And you will not get the views or the momentum that you think you're going to get because you just don't have that following already who can help slingshot it to the next level. I think also in this indie hacking space, there's just a bunch of snake oil salesmen who are trying to sell you shovels to help you achieve your dream of becoming like the next big indie hacker when in reality, like you're just not going to be right. You're just not going to be unless you're someone who can just like live in, you don't have to pay for like rent. You don't have to pay for electricity. Then yeah, maybe you can, you know, just put all your effort and time into these side projects and you can start growing them off the ground and make a decent revenue. But, but for a majority of us, the ones who have to like actually work full time because we have responsibilities and like stuff we have to pay for, it is just not a possibility. I think it's just a more difficult goal, right? It's just a lot more difficult for us to achieve. And the last thing I would ever recommend, especially in this economy, is to quit your job to try to become like a indie hacker and make it big because like, just be realistic. And I think following certain people on social media, like for example, I don't even go on X anymore. I don't like the platform. I don't like, you know, the owners of the platform, but I also just don't like the idea of me scrolling and seeing people with like these huge successes of all the revenue they're generating. And then I look back at all my projects and I'm like, dude, I haven't really achieved much. So I know this has been kind of a, a negative, pessimistic talk, and I don't want to discourage you from becoming an indie hacker. I just want you to have a realistic expectation of like, it's going to be a lot of work. And I would not put all your eggs in the indie hacking bucket because it's only like the success stories you see online. And there's a lot of people that I know tried to become indie hackers and like they keep trying to build new projects and like promote them and market them and they get no users. So I don't know, I guess leave a comment about what you think about the whole indie hacking scene. Again, I would love to make one successful SaaS product. It's just like, I don't know if I have the time or the energy to do it, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to build out one more idea that I have in the back of my head. And then I'm going to try to stick with it until I can actually get like a decent amount of monthly subscriptions because these other things, I just don't think they're really going to go anywhere. Anyway, I'm open for advice. If you guys have advice for me, uh, let me know. Have a good day. Happy coding.